Good morning, good morning. It's Monique Noel Gunter here, day two on my journey, or actually technically day three of 365. I'm documenting my progression because I've made a plan in my mind, I am gonna be a better me by August 23rd, 2022. To tell you the truth, I feel like I'm a better me every day because my goal is to improve in at least one area every day or to learn something new every single day. For those of you who have similar goals and who need um, some help staying accountable or maybe just some motivation, some positivity, reach out to me. I will happily partner with you to help you stay accountable and to help you just have a little bit of positivity because you know what? Sometimes we do these things and we do them on our own, but it is okay and we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, right? So I am going to be doing three chapters today in the course that I'm studying for. It's my goal for today, finish three chapters. I do have to finish my workout because I am late this morning. I was planning on waking up at around six, but I got up around eight instead. So I'm gonna get my workout done now, and that'll be one for the books. Then I have some planning preparation I have to do because we have an event coming up tomorrow, so you gotta be prepared, right? I wanna get it done today so that tomorrow I can enjoy myself. And then um, I also have a book, I believe, it is important to self-develop, right? You guys see my post almost every single day. I'll share it with you guys, my personal self-development. And I feel like personal development is, it's, it's paramount, right? You can't be better than you are unless you make an intentional decision to do that, right? So I believe that you can't pour from an empty cup. And in order to fill my cup, I spend, word, I spend my time in the word, right? My spiritual life is very important to me. I believe that God is my best friend and he's always there for me. He talks with me, I listen to him, and it's a great conversation. So those of you who think I'm crazy, you may be spot on, but I'm okay with that. Um, I also believe in learning and I've just I've just started a trilogy. It's a book by Marcus Holiday. It's concentrating on three areas. Self-development, right? Stoicism and discipline, I believe are the three, right? Yeah, but if not, I'll correct myself tomorrow. Um, I know that I should be more edited in these videos, right? I should do my hair first thing in the morning and I should go back and edit, but I really want my documentary to be real. I want it to be honest and sincere and I want to show you that you can do things and still have flaws, right? Because nobody's perfect and if you are perfect, kudos to you. I myself am perfectly imperfect and I'm happy with that. So. I don't know. I just said a lot and I hope it's helping someone. I really I really have a mission to improve myself because I realize that I can't help anyone if I'm not helping myself. And making myself a priority is important because I'm I have two little girls, right? And I need to show them that self-love is okay, that you can take time for yourself and still be a great person, that you can help others and also help yourself, that you can make a difference by being positive that um basically the sky is the limit my dad always t he told me this from, since i was a little kid and it sticks in me he used to say aim for the clouds so if you fall short no i lied he said aim for the stars because if you fall short at least you're in the clouds so i've forgotten myself a little bit over the years because i put myself kind of in limitations that other people assigned to me and it makes me angry. It makes me really angry because I'm an amazing person and I know that because of the life that God's blessed me with. And I'm not saying that to big up myself, but I'm saying it because I look at where he's brought me from and the things that he's allowed us to accomplish, my husband and I. And I'm grateful. I'm very, very grateful. And I don't want to do a disservice of limiting my life by the thinking of other people because other people's limits do not have anything to do with mine, right? So forgetting who I was and allowing myself to just exist and not live, it really surprised me because I never expected myself to do that. So I'm going through this journey of intentional directiveness because I want to make sure that I focus. And I really am excited to see who I will be by God's grace next year in August. God willing, it'll be a good, a good thing. And um, if he spares my life so that I could see then, you know, hopefully we'll have shared a year's worth of the journey and hopefully we'll all be better off for it. So that being said, make it a great day. I hope you have a phenomenal day. I hope that the things that you woke up with on your heart are important to you and that you pursue them. 
procrastination is one heck of a thing. I mean, we all think, oh, you know, I'm tired now, I'll do it later. But that's not a good way to think because we are the ones controlling our destinies, basically with the choices that we make. So if we choose wisely, we'll have great things. If we choose foolishly, God help us then. So let's make good decisions. Let's not neglect ourselves. Let's not neglect the plans that are in our heart. Let's trust God to take us through the journey that we know that we're supposed to be on. And you know what? We'll have a great story to tell after. Have a wonderful day. Monique Noel Gunter, signing out. Bye.